This is going to be Jasmine Jazu Vizicious versus Priscilla Cochera. Not sure if I said her last name right. <laughs> um, so Jasmine, she is nine and three. She is actually uh, coming off a loss against Tracy Cortez. It was actually a pretty big fight for her. And she's three and two in her last five, so not too bad. She is 34 years old, though. She's fighting against Zombie Girl, Priscilla, 12 and five. She's three and two in her last five, and she's coming off a submission loss to Miranda Maverick. Let's look at the odds as well for this fight. Right now, Jasmine's actually a minus 360. And she opened up at a minus 400. So some heavy juice has been opened by the bookies. And, you know, some people are taking dog action, but she's still a pretty heavy favorite. I think that she's actually the second uh, biggest favorite on this whole entire card so far. So a lot of confidence for Jasmine. I'll start off with Jasmine. I mean, I think she's a above average wrestler, has wrestling credentials even before she entered the UFC. Good top pressure, is able to control pretty well. She actually shoots solid takedowns. I mean, she has a 37% takedown accuracy, lands around two takedowns per fight. I think she also has a good takedown defense at 80%. And she's able to defend from subs pretty well. I think zero sub losses in her career. She also is able to clinch well and can hold her opponents up against the cage and control them. Her striking is still improving. I think she's decent but the wrestling is and the grappling is where her bread and butter is she's able to pressure forward and throw a volume and then she can also hold her own unless she is up against a more dynamic striker like a natalia silva also she has good cardio and durability i think she's able to implement her game plan for all three rounds she's never been finished and she has six and three in decisions in her in her career priscilla is Kind of the exact opposite. She's more sort of a striker, a brawler, has legit power in her attacks. I think that her striking defense is pretty bad, though, but she likes to trade one to give one, so she more so relies on that durability that she has. I don't think she's ever been KO'd yet in her entire career. The biggest hole that she's had is in her style and skill set is just the lack of grappling, right? When she's faced a not even sometimes not even a legit grappler, but usually when she faces grapplers, she loses. Um, she did KO Gina Mazzani, uh, but Gina had multiple KO losses before, and I think that's durability really played into Zombie Girl's advantage, right? Um, also, another thing is Zombie Girl is a proven dirty fighter. Um, sometimes you know works to her advantage when she is not caught, but. You know, when she's caught, it, you might get a point deduction in her. And that's not a, a good place to be when you're, you know, having maybe potential units on her. I believe that Jasmine will most likely control Zombie Girl for the majority of this fight, just taking her down and keeping her there. I do have a hesitation that Jasmine, she might not be as dangerous as a Miranda Maverick, for example. I think she only, Jasmine only has one sub win in her career, and that was pre UFC. And Zombie Girl has mainly lost to grapplers when they are able to just sub and finish her. So Zombie Girl is actually five and two in decisions, and Jasmine's six and three. So I could see this fight going to a decision or Zombie Girl catching Jasmine clean with a power shot. Who knows? Um, pick right here is Jasmine by decision, but despite the heavily favored odds for Jasmine's side, I'm I'm actually leaning towards staying away from this because I feel like Jasmine might not be as dangerous as uh, Priscilla Cochera's last opponents. So pick here is Jasmine by decision. But Alex, what do you think about this fight? Um, so when I broke down this fight, um, I think you know early thoughts was um, you know Jasmine is definitely going to be holding the center of the octagon. Um, uh, you know, I see her as, you know, the one holding center and moving forward. Um, and what I noticed was that, you know, Jasmine is very uh, comfortable being in grappling situations. Um, however, I actually think that her takedown attempts are very weak. Um, in the Mar Miranda Maverick fight, um, when Jasmine got the takedowns, it was always Miranda kind of in first engaging in the grappling exchanges um, which resulted in jasmine getting the takedown 
but it doesn't really look like Jasmine shoots um, for many takedowns, at least, you know, from, from the tape that I've watched. So I don't really like, um, I don't like that she doesn't go for a lot of takedowns. Um, I'll just say that. Um, add on to that, I don't think she's, you know, she's definitely not very nimble on her feet. Like, she's a very slow, crotting uh, type of fighter. Um, so, you know, if I'm Jasmine, you know, the game plan has to be, you know, to take space, get her close against the fence, trap her there, um, you know, then get into the clinch um, and secure a takedown that way. Um, because I don't think she's going to shoot like an open open space takedown. I think she has to get Priscilla kind of trapped um, and take space away. Um, you know, my biggest worry is that um, if Jasmine starts getting into a striking fight, um, you know, this could potentially be a parlay buster. Yeah. Uh, so, you know, for me, uh, most also most likely staying away from this. Um, I just don't know if, you know, that juice is worth it. Um, but I will say that, you know, the, the over two and a half, two and a half is a little, uh, it's pretty interesting to me. Um, you know, clearly the odds are implying that Jasmine, um, is going to win the fight. Um, and, you know, I don't believe that Jasmine has round one finishing equity. Um, she has two round one KOs and these were all back in 2020 in CFFC. Um, and conversely, Priscilla has never been knocked out in her career. Uh, and then as far as submissions, Jasmine only has one submission victory uh, in the second round, and that was back in 2019. Um, so, you know, what I'm, what I'm trying to say is that, you know, if you think that Jasmine is the winning side, um, I would personal, personally rather bet the over two and a half uh, as opposed to, you know, Jasmine money line outright. Um, you know, but again, with that said, I, I'm still not <laughs> going to bet the over under, I think, just because I do think Priscilla, uh, you know, could get a knockout in round one. Like it's, it's, a it's a very real, uh, a real scenario. So uh, probably staying away. Yeah. I really like the angle that you mentioned about the over two and a half. I think that is the more correct way to play it. You're on the jazz side. So totally agree with that. 